<laughs> mm. That's so good. Let's make shrimp burrito sticks. Shrimp burrito sticks is what I'm calling them for my TikTok video. <laughs> These are actually called firecracker shrimp. I used to eat these a lot at Benihana when I worked there like a long, long time ago. So yeah, let's make some firecracker shrimp today. Mmm, this is so good, seriously. <laughs> Add yourself some raw shrimp and pastry sheets. Pastry sheets will be all stuck together like this. All you'll need to do is just separate them like this. Oh, like that. It is so cold right now. <laughs> it's 10 degrees outside. I don't have the wood stove running, so yeah, I have no heat source right now. What you wanna do with the shrimp is you wanna straighten it. And so what I do is I just press on it and break it just like that. And so now it's a little bit longer and it's straight. Do that to all the pieces of shrimp. See, like that. Take the pastry and fold it like this. Now we're gonna take the piece of shrimp and we're just gonna lay it down like this with the tail kind of sticking out. Now throw on some original Danos. Just like this. Fold this tip down on it and then fold this around. And now just roll it up. As you get to this, you wanna spread some egg on it. I've got a fresh egg here. There you go. Now just brush it a little bit on, on the end here. Now finish rolling it up. And there you go. Now just repeat the process until you have a bunch of them. Now throw them in an air fryer for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so in the meantime, let's get a sauce going. So I've got some Japanese mayo. This is Dano's hot chipotle. I'm gonna dump in a bunch of it here, just like that. Squeeze of sriracha sauce and a lemon. Just a small squeeze. There you go, like that. Ah, yeah, look at that. Mm, perfect. That smells amazing. <laughs> okay. There you go, all done. Mm. It is so cold outside. <laughs> it's so windy also. Yeah, two really long videos that I need to edit. One is a vlog and the other is me cooking violet. I made sort of like a medicinal soup kanji this time. I've come to realize that the best way to cook these chickens, like these fresh chickens, is to turn it into some sort of soup, um, like a kanji or a medicinal soup or something along the lines. The chicken nuggets that I made were really good, but it was so much work. 
But I've been having a lot of fun cooking these chickens and learning about them. And I can't wait to start raising different types of chickens this year. Right now it might be really cold, but uh, the coming week it's going to actually be really warm. We're going to hit like the 40s and 50 degrees. Right now it's like 9 degrees. And uh, once it gets warmer, I'll be able to make some maple syrup again and make some videos on tapping maple trees. And I'll get YouTube videos done for those. I'm trying to finish my uh, shed build uh, video. Like I have a good chunk of it done already. I'm starting to edit the part where I am putting shingles on the shed. Once I get all of that edited, I'll p make a post on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for today's video. Or oh, actually, there is one thing that I want to show you. Uh, let me bring it out, but let me eat some more here first. Oh, man, that's so good. Seriously. Okay, I'll be back. All right. This right here. This is the Genki Forest Sparkling Water White Peach, and it's in these really small cans. It's super cool. They sent this to me to do like marketing research. Um, they didn't ask me to make a video on this specifically. They just want me to answer a bunch of questions and stuff about this. There you go. But they're really small cans. They're 6.76 ounces, so 200 milliliters. They're like, Pretty much half the size of the standard one that they have. It's a nice sort of refreshing drink that you can put like bring on the side or something like that. <sighs> to me, because this is so small, I think it would be good for children. But uh, for adults, I think it would be a good sort of like refresher or palate cleanser in between like snacks or food and stuff because it's so small. But yeah, that's really good. It's it's the peach one, the white peach. My favorite from them is the lychee flavored one. All right, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna start editing. I'll try to post my vlog and then the chicken video later also. These would be perfect appetizers for like a party or something. Oh man. All right, well, that's it for today's video. I appreciate you watching like always. Please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my merch in my spread shop and check out my website. It's called cluelessbushcraft.com. Still working on it. Um, check it out and tell me what you think of it, uh, what I can add, what I should remove maybe. I don't know. Um, I just need some feedback on it and then uh, I'll hopefully, uh, hopefully be able to get up some nice blogs later on. Um, or maybe more in-depth like information on all the videos that I make, but who knows? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace out.